why the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans don't mix. We all know about the point where the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet, but they don't mix. The two oceans meet and it's very visible if you look at the points where they meet and don't mix as if a boundary separates them. But what are the possible reasons for them not mixing? There are several reasons for it, be water density, salinity or temperature. In today's video, we are going to talk about these reasons, so stay tuned and watch till the very end. Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Before getting into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get straight into it. The vast Pacific Ocean and the comparatively smaller Atlantic Ocean are the two of the world's most iconic bodies of water. Though they both play vital roles in the Earth's ecosystem, they maintain very different chemical compositions and densities. As a result, these two oceans do not mix. The Pacific Ocean is significantly larger and deeper than the Atlantic, meaning that it has a higher average density. Additionally, the Pacific Ocean contains more dissolved minerals than the Atlantic. This difference in chemical makeup creates a balancing effect, where the heavier waters of the Pacific sink beneath the lighter waters of the Atlantic. This prevents direct mixing between the two oceans and helps to maintain their distinct identities. Though they are worlds apart in terms of size and composition, the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans are both integral parts of our planet's waterscape, thanks to their differences. These two great oceans will continue to play their unique roles in our environment for years to come. The Pacific and Atlantic Oceans may seem vast and uniform, but they are actually quite different. The two oceans have distinct chemical properties due to the different types of water that mix in each one. For example, the Pacific Ocean has more salt because it receives water from the Atlantic Ocean, which has a higher salt content. The Pacific Ocean also has a higher concentration of dissolved oxygen than the Atlantic Ocean. This difference is due to the fact that the Pacific Ocean is younger and has not had as much time to exchange gases with the atmosphere. As a result, the Pacific Ocean is more dense than the Atlantic Ocean. The denser water of the Pacific Ocean sits on top of the less dense water of the Atlantic Ocean, and this prevents mixing between the two oceans. Inertial forces are what we experience as the tendency of an object to keep moving in a straight line unless acted on by an outside force. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Coriolis force deflects moving objects to the right of their internet path. In the Southern Hemisphere, deflection is to the left, this force is caused by Earth's rotation and is weaker near the equator than at the poles. So how does this relate to ocean currents? Well, in the Northern Hemisphere, the Coriolis force causes water in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans to flow in different directions. The result is that these two bodies of water don't mix as much as one might think. In fact, there's a distinct boundary between them, known as the Panama Exchange. So, next time you're swimming in the ocean, remember that you're floating on water that has been affected by one of the basic forces of our universe. Another reason the water between Atlantic and Pacific Oceans do not mix is that the water has different molecular strength and tensile strength and they are flowing in different directions because of Coriolis force. So they have a chance of developing a connection across the ocean, but since they are flowing in opposite directions, it doesn't occur and hence they don't mix and keep flowing in their own directions. Isn't it mesmerizing to see these two oceans meeting, yet not mixing? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. This is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, give this video a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.